Hedge funds make money by trading momentum and volatility. Momentum meaning they're buying markets that they hope will keep going up and they're selling short markets that they hope will keep falling. And volatility meaning they're hoping for lots of extended market moves that they can profit from. Today, we're gonna talk about how hedge funds trade and how we can see evidence of this in the market. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, it's Dave Whitcomb from Peak Trading Research. At Peak, we are specialists in quantitative commodity research. And a lot of our research focuses on modeling market participant behavior, especially quantitative traders like hedge funds and commodity trading advisors. So today let's talk about how these quantitative traders, these hedge funds, these CTAs behave, how they trade, how they make money. Most hedge funds, most CTAs in commodity markets market futures are momentum traders. They're trend following traders. They are hoping to buy into a market that's rising, hoping that it goes up and up and up and they can liquidate their position at a profit. Now, how do we know this? Let's go through a few different examples of how we can see what these hedge funds, what these CTAs are doing via their positions and their profits. For a good example of how hedge funds trade, how they profit in commodities, futures. Let's look back to February and March of 2022. In the beginning of 2022, supply chains were tight. China was locking down because of COVID. And then Russia's invasion of Ukraine on February 24th, 2022 really accelerated commodity markets higher, especially commodity markets that were sensitive to Black Sea production or Russian exports like wheat and crude oil and nat gas. And we can see this in a price chart. If we look at the Bloomberg Commodity Index, which is a basket of different commodity futures, we can see that prices were rising in the early part of 2022 and then accelerated higher in late February 2022. So we can see that commodity market prices were accelerating higher in early 2022. But what were hedge funds doing during that same period? Now, we're very fortunate in commodity markets that we have these weekly commitments of traders reports published by the U.S. government that shows us aggregate hedge fund positioning as reported by all these different hedge funds. If we look at the aggregate position, the aggregate investment in commodities from hedge funds across energy and metals and agriculture markets, that position got up to $170 billion by early March 2022. Those are decade high levels. So we can see via the these statistics reported by the U.S. government that as prices were rising around the Ukraine invasion, hedge funds, speculators were buying into that upward momentum. They were getting longer commodity futures. Now, I mentioned earlier that at Peak Trading Research, we do a lot of modeling around market participants and their positions and their profits. And in February and March of 2022, our models were confirming what the U.S. government was showing us. Peak Trading Research's CTA ladder model, which is a proprietary model that quantifies the aggregate positions and profits of these momentum trading CTA traders, showed that indeed in March of 2022, most CTA traders, most momentum traders were long commodity futures across agriculture and energy and metals markets and making strongly positive profits. So the U.S government has shown us that hedge funds were long and buying in early 2022. Our proprietary models confirm the same. And there's even another way that we can see quantitatively the profits that these CTA traders, these momentum traders were making by buying upward momentum in the spring of 2022. These lines are the SOC Gen CTA index and the SOC Gen CTA trend index. These indices capture the performance the profits of different CTA traders. SockGen publishes the index constituent names on their website. It's a lot of familiar hedge fund names like Aspect and Graham, Man, Pimco, Systematica, Winton. These are well-known commodity trading firms. And we can see via these SockGen CTA indices that these commodity trading firms made a lot of money trading the momentum, trading the big volatility that we 
we saw in the spring of 2022. So hedge funds were buying upward momentum and making good profits from those positions in the spring of 2022. We can confirm that via US government reported data, data from peak trading research and data from SockGen. Now at this point, you might say, I get it. Hedge funds buy upward momentum. They buy when prices are going up. But what does that look like? What's a practical example of how a hedge fund might buy commodity futures on upward momentum? So let's quickly put together a very simple trading strategy that trades momentum. And most importantly, let's look look at the profits over the past few years. This is a very simple momentum trading strategy. And we're going to use this strategy to demonstrate how hedge funds trade and make profits in a market like heating oil. What this very simple breakout strategy, momentum strategy is doing is if the market is making new highs, if it's closing at the highest level of the past 20 price bars, the system will buy, it will go long heating oil futures and if the market is closing lower if it's falling the market will sell short heating oil futures there's also a very simple stop loss and the system will get out after 40 bars if there's no other trading signal but the most important thing to focus on here is this strategy is buying upward momentum hoping prices keep rising and it is selling short downward momentum hoping prices keep falling and if we look at a heating oil chart we can see how this system trades. It is buying upward momentum and it is selling short downward momentum. We can see that this system has had a lot of successful trades because heating oil has had a lot of big breakout moves and a lot of volatility over the past year. And if we open up a strategy performance report, these are the cumulative profits this strategy would have generated in heating oil futures. This strategy would have made about $100 $80,000 per single contract of heating oil traded over the past five years. So we know that this simple trading approach, this momentum breakout trading approach to trading the heating oil energy market works well. Now, the most important takeaway here is does this equity curve from this simple breakout trading strategy look familiar? It should because you have seen it before. If we overlay the performance of our simple heating oil breakout momentum strategy, we can see it fits extremely well with those SOC Gen CTA indices that we looked at earlier. Effectively, a very simple breakout momentum trading strategy on one market, on just the heating oil market, is a great proxy for how this entire industry trades. Buying upward momentum, hoping prices keep rising, for a profit, selling short downward momentum, hoping prices keep dropping for a profit. That is these hedge funds bread and butter trade. And it's not just in heating oil that we've seen that a simple momentum trading approach was able to generate big profits over the past year. We see the same thing in nat gas. We see the same thing in gasoline. We see the same thing in wheat. So that is how hedge funds trade. Trade. And most importantly, we've seen evidence of it in government positioning reports, in the research from peak trading research, in SOC Gen profitability indices, and finally in a simple breakout trading system that acts as a proxy for the entire hedge fund industry. So I hope you now have a great sense for how hedge funds and commodity trading advisors position themselves and make profits in commodity market futures. If you'd like a trial of our quantitative commodity research. You can reach out insight at peaktradingresearch.com. Thanks for your time and we'll see you soon.